Well, here we are at Beaver Castle again. This time on behalf of Swift Valley Sporting. And on this occasion, we're here to film some driven duck shooting. I will be trying out some new game bow steel in threes, fours and twos. I think it's the ideal opportunity to see what steel can really do and to see what size is going to be the best option for decent eye duck. If anyone has any opinions on steel, then please feel free to comment. Appropriately, of course, without getting too passionate about the demise of our favoured lead shot. Yeah, we're here at Beaver Castle today on behalf of Swift Valley Sporting, uh, who do organise uh, a lot of days out for overseas visitors especially. Uh, one of my favourite spots, Beaver Castle. Uh, we're here on a duck day. Shot duck here before, and there is some fantastic duck. And hopefully, if our overseas visitors, especially our American friends, I know they will like this spot. Um, a lot of them will have been here before. It'll be very, very uh, nice to see you all again to come and enjoy some of the best shooting sports available anywhere in the world. Hey. Well, just going to the third drive on a boat. Yeah. Well, see you later, alligator. <laughs> We've just come to the third drive, and Nick's just telling me an interesting story about a Lancashire bomber that's uh, that's actually in the in the lake. Still in the lake, yeah. Nin yeah. Uh, 1943, four Canadians died on it. Right. All, all 19 years old. Right. Bloody thought that the thought the thought this was the moon was on it. They've come back from bombing raid. Yeah. And they thought the, um, this was the because we've got a lot of air airfields. Yeah, yeah, away, yeah, yeah. And they thought with the moon on it, so they landed right. on here, plane yeah. broken off. Yeah. Engine one engine went straight up into that far bank. Yeah. And then the, the four boys died on here, and the, next year will be 80 years since that. So, so the plane's still actually still underwater. Still in there, yeah. And yeah. When, they, when they dropped the water this yeah. year, yeah. When we came out in the boat, we actually caught the tail. Did with, you? with the boat? Oh dear. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Very interesting story, that. And, and Canadian uh, airmen as well. Yeah. Very interesting story, that. Is there any monument to them at all? The, 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 the mention in the castle, the, there's quite a big thing is in it? there. It tells right. you all about it in the books. Oh, that's great, that, isn't it? Yeah. We had some Canadian shooting here. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, and we stood over there and they all had a drink and they all raised the glasses to them. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. What a great but sad story about the Canadian airmen losing their lives in such tragic circumstances. I do hope everyone watching the film appreciate what these very young airmen did for us in our time of need. A very poignant hats off to them on behalf of all country folk. Well, this is a first, this. <clears throat> I'm in the middle of uh, 
beaver ground, well, in the middle of their dam, on a, a pontoon, three of us, uh, hoping to shoot some duck without getting seasick or drunk, really. <laughs> but this is definitely a first. Well, Ollie, what do you think of that? Well, that was something else, that, wasn't it? <laughs> they were a bit, uh, a bit seasick, you like, but bloody hell, once you got used to it. There's a few of our friends I don't think would have been having any good on there. No, well, I think, uh, I think Mr. Joblin would have been a bit overweight for this one, didn't you? Know? So it's, uh, it's another invite he's missed. Another one he's missed, yeah. yeah. I'd have, I'd, 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 I knew we were going up Pontine, so I'd, I'd, that's the re reason I didn't invite him, because I knew he wouldn't be able to get on here. No. You know. But, uh, right, what a... Else, what a, right, well, that's, that was brilliant, absolutely fantastic that. Another fantastic job by the head keeper, Nick. He was having a bit of a laugh when he told me we were going on, the, we were going on these little pontoons, pontoons out here and he said, we ain't lost anybody yet. We've lost a couple of guns <laughs> and a Lancaster bomber, but we ain't lost a oh, shooter yeah. yet. <laughs> so, brilliant. Oh, Absolutely brilliant that, yeah. Brilliant. Let's talk about the steel shot. In my own opinion, but not as any kind of expert on steel, I shot the first tries with fours and a few threes mixed in. And I thought at a stretch they were okay at straight above 40 yard birds. But the most inspiring kills came on the last drive whilst sat out on the lake. When I thought the number two performed very well on good crosses and some good tall birds. Although new looks to me, I know Game Board are already planning to have these on the shelves for the oncoming season. So keep your eyes peeled. These tools are a very, very good shell. What, what, a, what, a, what a fine sight to see. Eh? And uh, it'd, be a, it'd, be a, it'd be a sorry day when these, when these hounds have gone all together because they've been bred over. How many years have you been breeding these, John, to get a line like this? Well, I haven't been breeding for 300 years, but the, Yeah, three, 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 300 years, something like that. Yeah. Be a shame, it'd be ever such a shame if, when, the, when this vanishes altogether. I mean, even trail hunting, it's such a fantastic sight in the countryside.
just before exercise time. They know when they're going for exercise, don't they? Yeah. Jervis, John, it's been brilliant. I, I hear you, you are leaving. I hope you have yeah, a, a very enjoyable retirement type job. Thank you very much. Brilliant, mate. Fantastic. Thank you very much. <laughs>